Hey guys, I'm Riley. This is Daniel. Oh, and we're plenty of dust. We'll be partnered up with Caravan RV Camping and Enerdrive for this video. We're doing something we've wanted to do for a very long time. Yeah. We're going to be swapping out our AGM system in our 2001 Kedron, and we're going to go to a brand new Enerdrive lithium system. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to show you our current oh. system, what we're changing into. We're going to take you through the whole installation process, and but also why we actually changed to go to the lithium system. So, that being said, bye bye. Let's work. <laughs> Just gonna quickly take you through our current system in the Kedron before we take it all out. So this was all put in by the previous owner. So he had two 120 amp AGM batteries and a 25 amp DC-DC charger. This is all powered via the two solar panels on the roof or through the Anderson plug and the car. They mostly took this to caravan parks so they would just plug it into the power there. We're now gonna set it up so it's more off-grid friendly. So what does that actually mean? It means we'll be able to use the 240 plugs inside the van to charge things like our laptops, cameras, drones, use the microwave, toasters if we want. Riley really wants a coffee machine, so we might be able to get that now. And we're not gonna have to rely on plugging it into power or running it via the car. It's just gonna be completely self-efficient, which is gonna be so much more suited for our style of camping. So we're gonna pull all of this out and make a lot more room for the new system. And then we're going to take it to our auto electrician who is going to help us set everything up for us. So, that being said, let's get into it. So that's the old system pulled out. Uh, just a couple bit of wires left, but we'll leave them in for the auto electrician to go over. Uh, we're going to go ahead and carpet it now, make it look tidy. Might provide a bit of insulation as well. Um, so yeah, heading off to the auto electrician tomorrow to get the whole new system put in. Clean this out, turns out. It's gonna be like a whole new van. And we are done. Right, so new day, we got Matt in the van currently setting up for our installation of all this. So we've gone with the E-System F board, two 200 amp lithium batteries, and 480 watt solar panels. So the reason we've gone with these batteries, the 200 amp VTEC lithiums, weight and usable amp hours. The weight of this battery is 25 kilos, whereas the equivalent AGM battery would weigh 60 kilos. So it's a big, big difference. And usable amp hours. So we can get up to 80% discharge on this. With AGMs, you start doing damage around 50-60%. So with these batteries, N and Drive have an app where you can go in and check the state of charge for the batteries. This one's at 99%. You can check what amps is going in. You can check uh, the voltage. You can go in and check the temperature, what each cell is doing. So that's really handy uh, for you to make sure that you're protecting your batteries. This is only useful for one battery at a time. So Enerdrive recommend if you're like us and you're running two batteries to use a separate battery monitor. So we've got the C Marine inside that we're gonna be using for a more accurate reading. Um, we're just getting the last bits of the silicon off that the solar panels were on. So first we go through a little Stanley knife blade, just scrape it off as much as we can. And then we go through with a nylon brush on the tash to just rip it all off. Riley's currently on the roof taking down our two old solar panels. We're going to put four brand new 180 watt panels up there so together it's going to be 720 watts feeding into our system so on a full sunny day um, we should be getting about 35 to 40 amps into it so yeah off grid here we come. So 
putting the brackets at the front and the back of the solar panels and that way it'll just block any wind coming in from the front um, which will hopefully make it a little bit more stable on the roof. The less chance of lifting it up. Yeah. Good idea, Matt. Yeah, when we come forward. Off. So Matt's just going to go in and put a bigger fuse box in there for us just in case we wanted to put more appliances in later like Sorocco fans and stuff like that. So that is a good idea for anyone buying one of the boards. Just think about what appliances you're going to want to use later down the track um, and ask your auto electrician if this is a better option for you. So this is the Cymarine battery monitor. We got it with the eSystem F board. This is replacing our voltmeter. So it's a big upgrade. Uh, when we have it in, we will show you what it tells us all the functionalities of it. So yeah, see you then. Right, it's gone in. It's gone in. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. We decided to be a pain in the ass and have it moved down. That is livid. <laughs> In, let's go through what the Cymarine actually tells us. This is your home page. So basically, this is what you're going to be seeing most of the time. You've got your battery percentage, time to charge, time, and barograph pressure. So if we go to the next page, you get a little bit more info here. So you've got your time to charge, which is 22 hours at the current rate. Um, you've got your battery voltage and your current down here. So your current here is a live feed of, it's a combination of both. So you've got your ingoing and outgoing amps. So if the solar panel is putting in 20 amps at the moment and your fridge is using 3 amps, then you're going to see 17 amps here. So it's a mixture of both. You've got your battery percentage and your battery capacity down here. If we go to the next page, so this is your isolated current page. Um, depending on how your shunt's wired up, you'll see more or less information here. We only have our DC charger, fridge and accessories on this one. Um, our DC charger is putting in 3 amps at the moment just because the batteries are full so it's on float mode. Our fridge is running, so we're pulling three amps and accessories. So we just put accessories. That's our lights and fans and stuff. I'll turn the lights on now. See that bump up to 2.7 and back off. So that's that page. Um, the next page is our temperature sensor. So this is just where the F board is located. So 32.7 is quite warm in the front there. Might have to lift the bonnet up and try and drop that. And the last page is the barograph. Um, I don't know how to read this, so I don't think I'll use it unless I decide to learn. But yeah, that's it. You can get a few more sensors put in, like a tank sensor and inclinometer. Um, we didn't get them put in, we just wanted to go a bit simple. But yeah, that's our Cymarine battery monitor. Right, so everything's installed now. Thought it'd be a good time to go through what we've got in here. This is the Anadrive eSystem F board. Uh, comes with a 2000 watt inverter, a DC DC charger, and a 40 amp three stage charger. So, if we go into a little bit more detail, this 2000 watt inverter comes with a built in RCD 
a AC transfer switch. Basically what the AC transfer switch does is when you're plugged into mains, it will bypass your batteries and transfer all 240 volt throughout your van or your GPO. So we have live 240 volt when that's plugged in. Your 40 amp DC DC charger. So basically this is gonna regulate the 720 watts of solar we got on top and will allow us to charge via the car. We also have a three stage charger. So this is a 40 amp three stage charger. What this does is when we're plugged into mains or a generator, this will convert 240 into 12 volt. So it's another way to charge our batteries. We've paired this system up with uh, two 200 amp batteries. So we've got 400 amps of battery in here. Should be more than enough to run what we need. With the 2000 watt inverter, we'll be able to run coffee machines, toasters, most 240 appliances. So it'll be quite comfortable there. Each board has come with its own wiring diagram when you get it. Um, so basically it shows you where all the circuit breakers are, the fuses, pretty much everything you need to know to make it an easy install. Um, Enerdrive's really thought of the end user and installer for this. If you are looking to upgrade your 12 volt system, I highly recommend talking to the customer solutions team at Caribbean RV Camping. We gave them a call, told them how much space we had, what we intended to run in the future, and they came back with a few options that would best suit us. So we went with the F board. Um, there are quite a lot of options on the website. Have a little browse through, uh, maybe grab a little something else as well. And then at checkout, make sure you use our discount code. We're all done, it looks amazing. So we're gonna take it home, pack it up, and get back on the road and see how it goes out in the real world. Gone next week. <laughs>
Um, but it's not coffee time at the moment, it's actually beer time. So we might go take them a beer to say thank you and we'll brew some coffees up in the morning. 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 So, it's time for coffees. Um, never use this machine, but we'll see how it goes. Look at that. Let's see what's going on here. 86. Done. Let's see how it uses the frother. Righto. No pressure. I know everyone's come here for my coffee making skills. So let's see how this goes. There we go. <laughs> it is using 78, 78 amps on the reader. Very nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't the uh, baristas do this? Oh, what would you like? Flower. I gave you. What is that? I gave you a swan. If you look at it this way, see its head there, and it's got a ponytail. That's not a swan, but that's alright. If you are wondering why we put our system in the front and not under the bed like most modern caravans, it's pretty much personal preference. Um, we like our stuff under the bed, a bit more convenient for us to access. Uh, and we had a heap of room in the front to do so. There are a couple of worries that we had, um, dust being one of them. We do have a little foam sealant here that's going on us. We're getting a little bit of dust in, but we'll replace that when we're in town. And temperature. So we're getting about 34 degrees here. You might be able to hear the fan now. And so it's, we are in the territory. It gets a bit hot here, about 35 at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're the only two worries we really had. Uh, so if you are upgrading your system or doing any kind of mods, just take these into consideration and you should be right. So that's it. That's everything we have for you. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you are looking to upgrade your system, head over to Caravan RV Camping's website. They've got heaps of stuff to choose from. Yeah, they've got solar panels, battery systems. Uh, they've got everything you need to go camping and live on the road. They've got it. So if the F board isn't for you, make sure you scroll through and look at their other options. And I'm sure that they'll have something that suits everyone. Yeah, so when you've done that, remember to use our discount code, which is POD20OFF, and we'll see you on the road. Yoo!